Question 77. Is data transfer between Azure services located in two regions free? Option A. No. Option B. Yes. And the correct answer is Option A. No. Explanation. Outbound data transfer is charged at the normal rate and inbound data transfer is free. Next question. Which of the following is a great place to start when examining the security of your Azure-based solutions and provides threat protection across all of your services both in Azure and on-premises? Option A. Azure Trust Center. Option B. Azure Advanced Threat Protection. Option C. Azure Security Center. Option D. Azure Compliance Manager. And the correct answer is Option C. Azure Security Center. Explanation. A great place to start when examining the security of your Azure-based solutions is Azure Security Center. Security Center is a monitoring service that provides threat protection across all of your services both in Azure and on-premises. Security Center can number 1. Provide security recommendations based on your configurations, resources and networks. Number 2. Monitor security settings across on-premises and cloud workloads and automatically apply required security to new services as they come online. Number three, continuously monitor all your services and perform automatic security assessments to identify potential vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. Number four, use machine learning to detect and block malware from being installed on your virtual machines and services. You can also define a list of allowed applications to ensure that only the apps you validate are allowed to execute. Number five, analyze and identify potential inbound attacks and help to investigate threats and any post breach activity that might have occurred. Next question. Your compliance team has contacted you and stated that a certain VM running a mission critical database with confidential data should not be able to connect to other applications and VMS. How would you accomplish this? Option A. No need to do anything as a VM cannot communicate with other services. Option B. Use an Azure load balancer. Option C. Deploy the VM to a brand new resource group. Option D. Deploy the VM to a certain subnet and restrict traffic using a network security group NSG. And the correct answer is Option D. Deploy the VM to a certain subnet and restrict traffic using a network security group. Explanation Azure Virtual Network is the fundamental building block for your private network in Azure. VNet enables you many types of Azure resources, such as Azure Virtual Machines, to securely communicate with each other, the internet and on-premises networks. VNet is similar to a traditional network that you would operate in your own data center, but brings with it additional benefits of Azure's infrastructure, such as scale, availability, and isolation. Subnets Subnets enable you to segment the virtual network into one or more subnetworks and allocate a portion of the virtual network's address space to each subnet. You can then deploy Azure resources in a specific subnet, just like in a traditional network. Subnets allow you to segment your VNet address space into segments that are appropriate for the organization's internal network. This also improves address allocation efficiency. You can secure resources within subnets using network security groups. For more information, see security groups. You can filter network traffic between subnets using either or both of the following options. Number one, security groups. Network security groups and application security groups can contain multiple inbound and outbound security rules that enable you to filter traffic to and from resources by source and destination IP address, port and protocol. To learn more, see network security groups or application security groups. Number two, network virtual appliances. A network virtual appliance is a VM that performs a network function such as a firewall, 
डब्ल्यू ए एन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन और अदर नेटवर्क फंक्शन टू व्यू अ लिस्ट ऑफ अवेलेबल नेटवर्क वर्चुअल अप्लायसेज दैट यू कैन डिप्लॉय इन अ वर्चुअल नेटवर्क सी अज योर मार्केट प्लेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वुड यू यूज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस और इश्यूज रिलेटेड टू योर स्पेसिफिक वी एम और कंटेनर इंस्टेंसेज डेटा बेसिस योर एप्लीकेशन ऑप्शन ए अज योर एडवाइजर ऑप्शन बी अज योर सेंटिनल ऑप्शन सी अज योर मॉनिटर ऑप्शन डी अज योर सर्विस हेल्थ एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी अज योर मॉनिटर एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम द ऑफिशियल अज योर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन If you want to keep track of the performance or issues related to your specific VM or container instances, databases, your applications, and so on, you want to visit Azure Monitor and create reports and notifications to help you understand how your services are performing or diagnose issues related to your Azure users. Next question: Your manager has asked you to recommend an Azure service that can be used to securely manage and store certificates. for your team's services which of the following would you recommend option a azure confidential ledger option b azure bastion option c azure key vault option d azure active directory and the correct answer is option c azure key vault explanation secure key management is essential to protect data in the cloud azure key vault encryption keys and small secrets like passwords that use keys stored in hardware security modules for more assurance it is possible to import or generate keys in hsms and microsoft processes your keys in fips 140-2 level 2 validated hsms hardware and firmware with key vault microsoft doesn't see or extract your keys you can monitor and audit your key use with a zero logging pipe logs into a zero hd insight or your security information and event management solution for more analysis and threat detection all of the control none of the work the motto by using key vault you don't need to provision configure patch and maintain hsms and key management software provision new vaults and keys or import keys from your own hsms in minutes and centrally manage keys secrets and policies you keep control over your keys simply grant permission for your own and partner applications to use them as needed applications never have direct access to keys developers manage keys used for dev or test and seamlessly migrate to production the keys that are managed by security operations next question in the case of resource groups the most restrictive lock in the inheritance takes precedence option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option a yes explanation from the official azure docs when you apply a lock at a parent scope all resources within that scope inherit the same lock even resources you add later inherit the same parent lock the most restrictive lock in the inheritance takes precedence if you have a delete lock on a resource and attempt to delete its resource group the feature blocks the whole delete operation even if the resource group or other resources in the resource group are unlocked the deletion doesn't happen you never have a partial deletion next question if you set up a free azure account then does the standard support plan come along with this free account option a no option b yes and the correct answer is option a no explanation The basic support plan is associated with all accounts but a standard plan needs to be purchased and cost $100 per month. Next question. As a consultant, which of the following locks would you recommend to an organization to prevent deletion or modification of mission critical resources? Option A, read only. Option B, cannot change. Option C, cannot modify option d is critical and the correct answer is option a read only explanation from the official documentation as an administrator you can lock an azure subscription resource group or resource to protect them from accidental user deletions and modifications the lock overrides any user permissions 
you can set locks that prevent either deletions or modifications. In the portal, these locks are called delete and read only. In the command line, these locks are called cannot delete and read only. In the left navigation panel, the subscription lock features name is resource locks, while the resource group lock features name is locks. Cannot delete means authorized users can read and modify a resource, but they can't delete it. Read only means authorized users can read a resource, but they can't delete or update it. Applying this lock is similar to restricting all authorized users to the permissions that the reader role provides. Next question. A SaaS solution allows access to the underlying operating system of the application. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is option B. No. Explanation. A SaaS solution does not provide access to the operating system. In fact, with a SaaS we have the least maintenance effort but also the least degree of control. An example of SaaS is Zoom and Outlook etc. Next question. Azure guarantees 99.99% availability for the free version of the Azure Active Directory. Option A. No. Option B. Yes. And the correct answer is Option A. No. Expedition. From the official documentation. Note from the above image that no SLA is provided for the free tier of the Azure Active Directory. Next question. Which of the following does not affect cost in Azure? Option A. Tags. Option B. Resource uses. Option C. Location. Option D. Resource type. Option E. Instance size of VMS. And the correct answer is option A. Tags. Explanation. Tags do not incur cost, but are rather a great way to know which resources are incurring cost. Next question. You plan to provision infrastructure as a service IaaS resources in Azure. Which of the following is an example of IaaS in Azure? Option A. Azure Virtual Machine. Option B. Azure HD Insight. Option C. Azure Event Hubs. Option D. Azure Machine Learning. And the correct answer is option A, Azure Virtual Machine. Explanation An Azure Virtual Machine is an example of infrastructure as a service. Azure Machine Learning, Azure Event Hubs, Azure HD Insight are all examples of Platform as a Service PAAS. Next question. A startup is planning to run a few simulations and needs to deploy pre-configured virtual machines in a lab-like environment using ARM templates. These VMS will be used to test app versions and scale up load testing by creating multiple test agents and environments. As the principal consultant, which of the following services would you recommend? Option A. Azure Resolved Virtual Machine Instances Option B. Azure Dev Test Labs Option C. Microsoft Managed Desktop Option D. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets And the correct answer is Option B. Azure Dev Test Labs Explanation From the official documentation, Azure Dev Test Labs is a service for easily creating, using and managing infrastructure as a service, virtual machines and platform as a service environments in labs. Labs offer pre-configured bases and artifacts for creating VMS and Azure Resource Manager templates for creating environments like Azure Web Apps or SharePoint Farms. Lab owners can create pre-configured VMS that have tools and software lab users need. Lab users can claim pre-configured VMS or create and configure their own VMS and environments. Lab policies and other methods track and control lab users and cost. Next question. Which of the following services can help you decouple components and asynchronous master storage for communication between application components, whether they are running in the cloud? on the desktop, on-premise or on mobile devices. Option A. Azure File Sync Option B. Azure Data Box Option C. Azure Asynchronous Communicator Option D. Azure Queue Storage And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Queue Storage Explanation From the official Azure documentation, you can use Azure Queue Storage to build flexible applications and separate functions 
for better durability across large workloads. When you design applications for scale, application components can be decoupled so that they can scale independently. Queue storage gives you asynchronous message queuing for communication between application components, whether they are running in the cloud, on the desktop, on premises, or on mobile devices. A single queue message can be up to 64 KB in size, and a queue can contain millions of messages, up to the total capacity limit of a storage account. Queue storage is often used to create a backlog of work to process asynchronously. Next question. A resource can connect to resources in other resource groups. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. From the official documentation. A resource can connect to resources in other resource groups. This scenario is common when the two resources are related but don't share the same life cycle. For example, you can have a web app that connects to a database in a different resource group. More about resource groups. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.